You know who else is from California? Chris Demke. They take home all the cash out there in the alcohol categories. Michael Manners is standing in the lane opposite him, and he's the number one qualifier. He also ran low ET at the meet in the last round. Manners, who makes his home just north of the Houston metropolitan area, comes to us by way of Great Britain. Injected versus supercharged. Nitro versus alcohol. Final, final of the day. That's a big move for Chris Demke. Oh, hold on, take a look at this. You got a whole shot. Winner, Chris Demke, who's 531.3, beats the quicker but losing 530 time slip of Michael Manners. Chris Demke has been kicking himself since he got beaten the first round of the All-Stars yesterday, but I believe this is going to make up for it. 27th final, that's when he cashes in his 12th win. Great way to end a great day. Well, Chris, that was a pretty good race right there. Tell me about it from your point of view. You know, it, it was a tough final round. Uh, winning on a whole shot meant a lot to me. After that semifinal, it was extremely emotional. Uh, taking out Joey Severance and that Jim Whiteley crew, um, I had to dig deep for that one. It was really hard to, to bring myself back up for that final round. Uh, knowing that Mike Manners had ripped off a 526 in the semis, I didn't really think I had a chance. So, uh, But somehow I found what I needed. My crew tuned the car excellently. It was, it was, a, it was a challenging weekend, but in the end, we persevered, persevered and brought home another Wally. And that's the second year in a Rose, so any truth to the rumor you're going to move here? <laughs> well, you know, I do pretty well at Pomona, my home track as well, but I'm really starting to like Chicago. Chicago is a great place, one of the best tracks around, and uh, I bet we'll be here next year as well. Thank you. Right on. Thank you so much. What a weekend. Dipping back to the Jags, how about Division 5, their first win ever? How about Division 5? After 30 years, of course, Daryl Zimmerman, who was the longtime division director and kind of one of the founding fathers of NHRA, his team finally pulled it out, and rumor has it, Daryl Zimmerman's going to come visit us at one of those track visits coming up a little bit later on this year. Eight first-time winners also part of the Jegs All-Stars as the weekend comes to a close. Congratulations to all of them, whether you won the Jegs All-Stars or the Route 66 Nationals. For Alan Reinhardt, John Kern, and our entire ESPN2 crew, I'm Dave Reeves. So long from Joliet, Illinois. We'll see you next from Norwalk, Ohio.